Welcome back to Accessible Gourmet. Today we're making ratatouille. We're going to start with our bechamel sauce. So uh, over low heat, we're going to heat up one cup of milk. We don't want this to scald or boil. We just want this to be warm when we add it to our butter and flour so it doesn't shock our mixture. Then in a separate pan over medium heat, we're going to add one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Let this melt down a little bit. And then add one tablespoon of flour. We want to stir this until everything is melted and incorporated, and we want to cook the raw flavor out of the flour, which should take, like I said, about one or two minutes. Once that's ready, we're going to add our warm milk a quarter of a cup at a time. We want to whisk this constantly because we don't want any lumps to form in our bechamel. So do this slowly and just make sure everything is well combined before you add the next quarter of a cup. And we're going to cook this over medium heat until the sauce thickens. You can't really walk away during this process because it's going to happen um, faster than you think. We want it thick enough to coat the back of a spoon and once that coats, we're going to shut off our heat, season with a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, or maybe more than a teaspoon. It's up to you. Do it by your taste, as well as a quarter of a teaspoon, I'm sorry, an eighth of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Um, stir this all together and set this aside and try to keep it um, warm like put a lid on it because you don't want it to get too lumpy now on to our vegetables I'm using a mandolin here if you don't have a mandolin you can definitely just use a knife just try to keep your cuts as even as possible so we're taking one yellow squash and breaking this down into thin discs just be careful when you get closer to the blade. Use the guard on the mandolin if you have one because you don't want to um, slice up your hands. We're going to do the same to one green zucchini. Give this a nice slice into those nice thin even discs. If you have a mandolin, I have my setting on three. Um, I found that was a good size for that. I also hand cut one eggplant and julienne one red bell pepper. And then I am thinly slicing these little red fingerling potatoes. If you don't have fingerling potatoes, you can just use two regular red skin potatoes. But if you do that, parboil them for about two to three minutes and then um, wipe them off so they dry. But just thinly slice these and um, set them aside with the rest of your veggies until we're ready to use them. We're also going to need three to four uh, sprigs of thyme. Thyme's so easy, you just strip the leaves right off of the stem. Three cloves of finely minced garlic. If uh, that seems like a lot to you, you can cut it down to two. It's completely up to your taste. That's a nice thing about cooking as opposed to baking. Um, it's not a, an exact science. So now we're going to need a casserole dish uh, large enough to fit our uh, ratatouille. And to the bottom of this, I'm adding a layer of tomato basil sauce. I am using jarred because I didn't have any homemade on hand. We're going to sprinkle this with our thyme, our minced garlic, one tablespoon of olive oil. Reserve that other tablespoon for the top. And then sprinkle with um, a half a teaspoon of chili flakes. Now we're going to layer on our bechamel on top and then I'm just using a chopstick here to swirl it all together removing any uh, stems that I may have missed on the thyme. And now we get to create our pattern. Um, you can create any pattern you want, whatever looks beautiful to you. I am just building a pattern that I think looks pretty to me and it's the easy it's easier to actually build this on your bench first as opposed to trying to stack it in your dish individually so you just make one stack um, place it in your dish and then continue around until you have covered your whole casserole dish I'm just filling in the spaces here with a little extra vegetables just because I want it to be um, nicely packed and uh, full So 
So now we want to season the top with a little bit of salt. A little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And that reserved tablespoon of olive oil. Oh, and also a little um, more fresh thyme. I'm sorry, I should have told you to preheat your oven to 375 Fahrenheit. Then we also need parchment paper. Um, we are gonna cover this with parchment so it doesn't burn. But additionally, I'm putting my casserole dish onto a sheet pan just in case anything bubbles over in the oven. You don't have to, you don't want to have to worry about cleaning um, your oven itself. It's much easier to clean a baking dish. So I'm just wrapping this in some parchment paper. Um, it's not very pretty, <laughs> but it did the job. And you want to put this in the oven and let it bake for one hour. And when you take it out and remove that parchment, your sauce should be nice and bubbly. You want to let this cool for five minutes before you serve it. But there it is, um, my version of a beautiful ratatouille. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you loved it, subscribe and click the notification bell because I put out new videos every week. Until next time, happy cooking.